Hello and good morning. My name is Brandon Parks. I am a horticulturalist here at Franklin Park Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. And today we are going on a journey to talk about temperate pitcher plants. Let's go down to the boardwalk and take a look. So out of the numerous containers here of Saracenia, Venus flytrap, um, sundews, none of them thrill me more than this beautiful white top pitcher plant here. This is a hybrid known as Dana's Delight, which is a Leucophila by Willis CI hybrid uh, that features these outstandingly beautiful pinkish red pitchers. You can really see the light windows in there. Uh, so Saracenia Leucophila, or the white top pitcher plant, uh, as a whole, have their best pitchers in the fall, making September, October, and November their prime time. Because what happens is they release these pitchers in accordance to the harvest moon, where that beautiful light from that moon gets reflected off these pitchers, these light windows here. And at night, that draws the insects into the pitcher, where they then digest them and get their final bounty before fall and before they go into winter dormancy. So like I said earlier, these Saracenia pitchers, these pitcher plants, uh, these are modified leaves. And these leaves exude a nectar ring here to attract the insects. And once they get caught in there, you can see down through the tube, they get stuck and digested. So we're going to do a cross section of this white top pitcher plant here for you. And we'll just see what the insides of these pitcher plants look like. So already you can tell when we start cutting through it, you get the mid vein there. And then all the way down, you can see the yummy, yummy bug guts. And as we keep going further down, this entire bottom of the pitcher is filled with liquefied bugs. And they do a very good job at trapping. As you can see, all the different flies. Um, sometimes you'll get bees in here, unfortunately. But they do a really good job of mosquito control, fly control. So it's definitely a fun plant to have. Uh, in containers. Uh, they are a little bit of a specialty plant. So if you're going to grow them, definitely do your research first. Um, we use a mix of peat moss and sand here for our containers. Uh, we do not fertilize them. Um, these species, like I said, really grow in nutrient poor. And you can see here at the pot, water logged containers here. So these always stay wet. They're not allowed to dry out. But you know, that gives it one of the more unique qualities of the plants that we offer here at the conservatory. Um, just these wonderful native plants that are endangered and need appreciated uh, in a setting like this.